drop the like mansion, leave me a message, and we'll text you back. Because I hate my cell phone, and I hate my voice, and I'm not going to call you back. I'm going to text you back. So, have fun with this. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Goodbye. What's up? I'm Mike Mason, 31 years old, Las Vegas, Nevada, and I ride freestyle moto. Uh, I started riding. I think I got my first bike for my fourth or fifth birthday. It was a little uh, JR50. Pops was always into riding, and I'd always go to the races with him. And you know, I always was pumped on. It. I'd build little tracks out in the dirt with little toy bikes. And sure enough, got my first bike. Just started going out to like some sand pits behind my house with my dad. And, riding and that was pretty much my whole life. It's what I remember right when I was first starting to come to in this little world and you know it's all I ever wanted to do and just kind of kept going through that racing and here we are 27 years later and I'm still doing it. Um, I raced my whole life up until I was probably 23 so I raced a good 10-15 years and you know it was fun. It, I loved it. It was still to this day one of the best things I ever did but it just got to the point where it was so expensive. You know you had to have all the bikes, you had to pay for your travel, pay to even race. Like racing a Supercross you were out four or five hundred bucks before you even raced. You know and then you'd make a couple hundred if you even made the night show. So it was just getting hard and it was getting to a point I was getting a little older and then I'd set some goals. I wanted to make you know an outdoor national, a Supercross main and do some arena crosses and I did all that within a couple year span and after that I was just kind of I was left kind of clueless and I actually thought I was going to quit. I kind of got rid of my bikes and started fading out of it a little bit and right at that time Dustin Miller, um, one of my best friends, he bought seven acres out in Gardnerville and built a foam pit and everything and he actually just gave me one of his bikes, let me live with him and he was like, yeah, just come out and ride with us, you know, and I was just thinking just to ride with my friends. I wasn't thinking, oh, I'm going to go to like X Games and, you know, be the top guy. I was just like, I'll go out and ride and, you know, everyone at that time there was like seven or eight of us out in that area. And, it just kind of started clicking and then Miller got me onto Mark Burnett's tour way back in the day and started doing those, started doing some IFMAs and it just kind of like was a snowball effect, you know, started going. I started flipping kind of when flipping was still rel relatively new, I guess there wasn't too many people doing it and it was just like good timing, luck of the draw and made a, a decent little career out of it. And I'm glad I switched now. Like I said, I did what I want to do in racing and now up to this point I've done what I want to do in freestyle and it's just been awesome to do it all on a motorcycle and hang with my buddies. Yeah, we're out here at uh, Ronnie Fry's house doing a little riding. Uh, me, Ronnie, and Destin Cantrell. And just having some fun, getting ready for Nuclear Cowboys tour here in a month or so. So coming out and getting back on the bike and trying to teach Ronnie a couple tricks, but he ain't learning nothing. And Destin's teaching us how to do tricks because we're old. And that's what's going on. Fun day. Yeah, being down here and, and riding with Feist and all the guys, it, it's awesome, man. It's it's cool for me because especially like me, Feist, Twitch, you know, a lot of us, we're at that age now where riding's more fun to us. I mean, we can't sit there and tell you we're going to go to like a X Fighters or an X Games and, you know, have the gnarliest tricks, but, you know, we're still doing what we do and, you know, we still stay busy, so it's cool to come down here, all ride together and, you know, I've always been a big fan of these guys, man. It's, they're guys that I looked up to when I was racing still, you know, because they were one of the first guys flipping, you know, Feist and Twitch and them. And then now to come down here and ride with guys that I looked up to and now realize that they just like to pick on me and make fun of me because I look up to them. It's pretty cool. It's, you know, it's kind of like a bonding deal. I feel comfortable with them, but uh, nah, it's cool, man. It's just, it's fun to always get down here and ride with these guys. I don't get to see them as much now with, you know, not a lot of stuff happening for all of us, so it's always cool to come. Um, ride, have some fun, and the riding sessions now I actually think are better because we all just kind of go out and ride for fun and do fun stuff, you know, like I mean, it to work on like a basic double grab or, you know, no foot a can or something, but it's fun to us because that's just where we're at in our career now, so it's definitely fun to come down here and do that kind of stuff. Oh! <laughs> and she is money. Well, we're out here at the uh, Sequan Resort, getting a little golf in before we do our demo tonight. I uh, got me, Lance Corey, Twitch, and Tim O'Brien on a team, and it is ugly, dude. We were just chewing this course up. 
but it's a good time. It's always fun to hang out with these guys, uh, other than doing something with dirt bikes, uh, having fun and sucking and seeing you can get the highest score. He might be in the lake. Quit filming this, it's a bad day. Go do some practice, get the ramp dialed in, 7 o'clock show time. I'll probably do a couple tricks and do a straight jump and just take my easy paycheck and go home. Sounds good. Yeah, the, the demo at Saquon, it's cool. It's uh, They're actually launching the partnership between uh, Ricky Carmichael and Kerry Hart for the Supercross team. So I think they're, you know, Saquon's one of their big sponsors. So they come in, announce the team, kind of have a little party, and we do a demo there. And, you know, that's just another cool aspect of the sport to get to go jump at cool stuff like that. You know, it's, it's a Supercross team launch, but it's cool that Freestyles kind of came in, you know, and Kerry's actually one to, to kind of give credit for that. You know, he's the freestyle guy that has a pretty legit popular Supercross team now. So we're kind of meshing everything, you know, like Carmichael, and, Brock Tickle, Josh Hill, the racers are there, and then you got me, Lance Corey, and Quidge, and I think Bobby Lee will all, you know, do the tricks and kind of just mesh as a motocross family, and that's what it kind of should be, you know. Forever it was racers versus freestyle guys, and I get how that was, you know. At first when freestyle started, it was a bunch of punks, and you know we all thought we were way cooler than we actually are. But now it's, I think we're a legit sport. We ride a lot and we do pretty crazy stuff, you know. And we're trying to. There's a lot of us that race that do freestyle now. So I'd like to have like racers respect. You know, I don't want to just be known as a freestyle guy. And I think events like this totally help the combination of motocross come together. It's crazy to think of the places that I've got to go on my dirt bike. You know, like when I was 13, 14 years old, I never in a million years thought I'd be going to Australia and Europe and South America and all these crazy places just to ride my dirt bike. Just a little bit ago, I was in Chile and I've never been down to South America and got to go down to Chile, watch the mega ramp stuff. and you know, ride a show, and those people, like, they don't get to see that stuff all the time, so they were just amped on it. Like, we did three shows, and all three shows were packed, good energy from the crowd, and that's, like, kind of made me realize why I ride. It's not so much winning contests no more or doing the biggest trick. It's going out and riding, and, you know, you do something simple like a double grab, and the whole crowd just stands up, and they're cheering for you, and it, that's awesome to know that you're, you're making these people's day. It's a cool feeling, and it's a feeling not a lot of people in this world will ever get to experience, and I'm glad I'm got to be one of those people. Um, my future, I'd say I've got a good two to three years left. Um, you know, as long as Nuclear Cowboys and stuff like that keeps going, I'd for sure love to ride that because that's just being on my bike and having fun with my friends. And You know, so however long that goes, if it's two or three years, do that. And, you know, depending on what speed and style does, if that was to stick around for a couple more years, I'd definitely like to do that. But I also don't want to be one of these guys that's just you know, just wearing out my welcome. I don't want to ride when I can't, I shouldn't be riding demos and I shouldn't be taking spots from kids that can ride. So, you know, I definitely see that happening in like the next couple of years. I'm already way behind the ball on tricks and there's kids that ride way better than me that should be riding some of the stuff I'm riding. So I don't want to just keep milking it, but yeah, I don't know. I don't actually know, you know, who knows? Maybe next year I can just get all motivated and learn a bunch of stuff, but I highly doubt it. Damn, we cause some damages like little hands to mandolins. To find more videos of motocross and guys like me on Ally Sports, click here. What's up, everybody? Nate Adams here at home, and I am going to show you how to do and break down a lazy bullet. What's up? This is Ronnie Feist, and I'm going to tell you about my three favorite tattoos.